All right, here inside the Mayweather Boxing Club with Jeff Mayweather. Jeff, last day before you head out to Buffalo to work with the Mayor Abdallah, what are you expecting getting out there the week before that fight? Well, actually, I'm going to be out there 16 days before the fight. <laughs> no. Actually, um, just going to tighten up his, um, his, his skills as far as um, his hands. Um, you know, Amir, I think, is, um, you know, he's very, very talented. He has great kicks, you know, and um, he's a good puncher. And, um, and he seems to learn extremely fast. So, you know, um, going out there to help him put himself in position to fight for the world title who wins this fight. You worked with him a couple camps now. Uh, what are some of the strengths, of, you know, some of his qualities as far as hands go? Um, well, he has, um, he has very good power, uh, good speed, and like I said, most importantly, he's thirsting for knowledge and he wants to learn. From, from where he started to where he is now, what, what are some of the differences? Well, I think that, you know, I've been, been working with him a lot on tightening up his defense and uh, throwing a lot more combinations. And, I mean, I probably give him more combinations than he need for being a kickboxer. You had mentioned that he's thirsty for now, just as far as, you know, what's he like as a student overall? Well, I mean, I think he's, he's the type of student, because actually he was out here when Floyd was actually training as well, so basically he was sucking in as much as he possibly could. He would stay and watch Floyd and, and you know, and, you know, and I mean, and, and that's one of those things that, I mean, he wants to know, you know, he wants to, he watch, not only for it, he watch a lot of the fighters that are a part of the money team as well. And um, just try to add to what he already knows. You know, you've done boxing obviously for uh, a long, long, long time. Uh, MMA you've done for a little while. What's it like kickboxing? Are you, are you learning a little bit more about the sport or are you just kind of sticking to what you know best? Uh, I'm, I'm still sticking to what I know best. And I mean, my, what I know best is boxing, so I'm not trying to teach I'm not trying to teach him how to do no, no kicks or anything like that, so I'm doing what I know. He's not a pro boxer and he incorporates a kick into it, obviously, but, you know, just overall, compared to some, you know, how is he as, like, just as a boxer? I think as a boxer, I think he, he, would, I think he would do pretty well as a boxer. I mean, I wouldn't necessarily say, you know, I don't know as far as elite, but, I mean, if he started, you know, young enough, probably so. But, I mean, even where he's at now, I think that he, he can hold his own against, you know, some decent fighters. This is a big fight for him coming up on June 7th in, in Lockport, New York. Um, how excited is he for this fight? And then, you know, what have you guys spoken about as far as, you know, what he's, his expectations are? Well, I mean, I think the one thing is that, you know, he's still, he's got to win this fight. And that's what the focus has to be. It has to be on the fight that's happening on the 7th and not the fight that's going to happen afterwards because, you know, you can lose sight of lose sight of things and actually end up, you know, being knocked off your, you know, off the mission. So I think that um, basically um, when we've been talking, I mean, basically he's just been focused. He said he's been focused. He's been working hard, you know, just on this fight. Some people say champions are, are born and not made, but, but what's it like is, is work ethic as far as, you know, obviously you don't get to the top without working really, really hard. So what do you see out of him when he's working out as, as opposed well, to anybody see, else? The thing is that when they say when they say that phrase, champions are born and not made, I think that what happens is if you find the right person and you have the right chemistry, that person can bring that champion out of you. You know, I ain't going to say everybody has the you know, champion in you know, but I mean, saying I don't have a champion in me. Is that what you're saying? No, I ain't saying that. I already know that. <laughs> <laughs> I think there's a champion in here, Jeff. All right, Jeff. <laughs> he, he, he has a black belt. He's a champion. Yeah, you got a black belt. You got and he ain't even got no pants. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you're saying I'm championship material. Go on. Yeah, it's championship material. This guy is interviewing me. No, but but uh, seriously, just as far as his work ethic, you know, uh, what's he like when you when you've been able to work with him? How do you see him as as far as what he does overall in the gym to prepare himself? Well, one thing one thing with him here, I mean, he works he works it very hard. He works very hard. Um, and like I said, I mean, he's the type that when we try something, he wants to get it right. He's not the type that you know, um, okay, let's go to something else. No, he wants to learn what it is we try and get that right, and then move on to the next thing. Anything you see stop him in this in this fight coming up here June seventh? I'm sorry. June seventh. I mean, anything you see that can can stand in his way? 
well, other I mean, than his opponent? I don't know. <laughs> to be honest. What do you know I, about James Wallace? I have no I know I have no idea nothing about the guy he's fighting. I mean I don't really follow kickboxing that much, you know, I mean other than working with him. You I see a lot know. of these younger like boxers and I'm sure the same kickboxing when they don't when they, they don't really care if they know anything about the opponent. Is that the same thing, even with, with higher level fighters, you can still kind of go in there if you don't necessarily know everything? Mm. Well, I mean, I think that sure. the, the, the person sure. that's fighting the person, I think that they actually need to know sure. something. Yeah. Because, I mean, it makes no sense to, to go in a fight blind when you actually have, you got a chance to even get footage, especially today with YouTube and so many different other avenues to, you know, to be able to find a video or something that will, you know, at least prepare you for what you're going to be looking for, what's and then, what you're going to be looking at, I'm sorry. And then just lastly, you know, what's it been like working with in these last couple camps? Well, I mean, it's, I mean, Amir is a great guy. I mean, me and his, me and his, um, his cousin has a great, great relationship, probably one of my best friends. and. Um, and actually, so it's, it's almost like he's kind of like family to me, and um, and he's a he's a great guy, and you know, and um, it's, it's a pleasure to work with him. I mean, he's a guy that comes down he comes down here and he, and he works hard, and, you know, and that's all I can ask for, you know, because I I wouldn't want a guy to come down here and, and waste his time and waste mine, you know. He's here, he works hard, and like I said, and he's he's thirsty for knowledge, so he's, he's picking up as much knowledge as he can from everyone. Everyone in the gym. <laughs> you ready for that Buffalo weather? Yeah, I bring me. I got. I got me two winter coats. <laughs> winter coats and, and some and some uh and some boots. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jim. Best of luck, Amerabella. June seven, Lockport, New York, taking on James Wallace. Look forward to it. Thank you.